Hello, my name is Monica Donaldson. I'm a physiotherapist with a special interest in pelvic health, and I see both women and men with pelvic floor conditions. The, this is an ultrasound machine, and we will be using Martha Lee today as my model to demonstrate how the pelvic floor muscles move and how we can image them in the ultrasound machine. Yeah? So we put a bit of gel on the probe and then on the breath out and draw up that white line as we talked about before, the white area underneath the bladder and relax and lift. Take a breath in and then on the breath out. Sorry. Okay, don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay, so uh, the big black thing is the bladder. Okay, so now I'm in standing and being the model here myself. Um, the white area underneath the bladder is a representation of where the pelvic floor muscles are. And so what I want to show you here is the difference between being in a relaxed state and lifting the muscles up and then relaxing them and lifting it up and you can see the movement of the muscles in the correct manner. If I bear down and push my muscles down, the white line goes down and that's creating pressure down in the pelvic floor. So just as a demonstration of what it should look like when you are holding it and here I'm holding the pelvic floor and talking, breathing, lifting, relaxed shoulders, relaxed abdominals and then relaxing the muscles down, okay? So when somebody's very tense and they hold their muscles here all the time, what we try to do is work in standing or in lying down at relaxing the muscles so that they can let go rather than holding them on all the time, yeah? What I teach people to do is A, not to push through their abdominals. So if I push through my abs, I don't even know how to do it very well. Can you see how I'm pushing the pelvic floor down? The white line is going down. Whereas if I lift my pelvic floor up, the line should come up rather than being pressed down. So I'm lifting it up and I'm able to talk and breathe and sing if I need to and then I can relax the muscle down. Or if I'm teaching people how to not leak urine when they're coughing and sneezing, I ask them to lift it up and, <coughs> and then relax the muscle so that they're able to hold that muscle contraction whilst they're putting pressure inside the abdomen, okay? They can do things like we can do exercises such as standing on one leg, lift and relax, lift and relax, yeah? Well, Okay. okay, so let this light on here. So just pop yourself over there and just tuck this inside the top of, oh, it's a little bit of gel there. So just use that bit there. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of gel on the probe that goes on top of your lower belly and Normally I ask people to come in with a nice full bladder because you can get a better, oops, sorry, better, uh, a little bit of gel in your underwear there, sorry. Um, so let's look at Martha's bladder first, see if we can find it. It's getting a little fuller now. So the big black thing, hopefully we can see on the video there, is your bladder. I will put the cursor here. So that big black thing is the bladder full of urine and down here in this white area is the pelvic floor. So I want you, Martha, please to first of all just take a slow relaxed breath and look at how the pelvic floor moves downwards and then it just comes up a bit again. So this white line is where the pelvic floor muscles are and then it comes up again. Good. So then can we just on the breath out, draw your pelvic floor up as if you're picking up a tissue with the walls of your vagina. So you should be able to see that white line lifting nicely up. Let me center it a bit, okay? And so lift it up and relax it down. Let it go, that's it. Now lift it up again, and this time try to hold it for a little bit and take another breath in 
and out. So keep that perineal lift and the pelvic floor lift, good, and take a breath in without letting that go. And then when you let the breath out, and then relax the pelvic floor down. Okay, let's try that one more time. So try to, first of all, lift the pelvic floor up and hold that lift for me. Take a nice breath in. And then as you breathe out, relax it down again. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is just show a little bit of coordination in your control of the pelvic floor. Okay, then do a few like quick lifts for me. So lift and relax. Now, there you go. Hopefully we can bring the screen in a little bit. And so look at that white line where the muscles are and lift and relax. Good. And again, lift and relax. Good. Try to do it without pushing your tummy out into my probe so that it feels like a more internal lift. Very good. And that's it. So what I would look for there is um, how well you can lift, how strong the lift is, how well you're able to hold it, and if you're able to breathe in and out whilst you maintain that. And we would do that also in um, standing. And for people with pelvic pain, the aim of doing this um, is basically to understand and teach how they can control their muscles, how they're able to relax consciously. And, uh, uh, and often people who do hold it on all the time too tense, we work at breathing and relaxing and seeing if that line can actually come down a little bit rather than be up at all the time. And this machine is useful for biofeedback. Yes, so one of the, one of the very uh, powerful links that it has is that it, it serves as a visual biofeedback. So when a person is able to see what their muscles are doing, and these are very hidden muscles, which many people just don't feel very connected to, uh, they're able to finally validate or understand how those muscles are, are, are moving. So it can be a very useful tool for people to understand that.